Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. Oh, just had to double check and make sure I didn't accidentally mute that. It's time for episode... 50... 54. It is the end of the live stream. It's been the end of a long week. And it's been the end of chatting with the crew. So let's head back to the planet and um, let's pick our crew. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab T3, get him leveled up, and let me grab the Handmaiden. And, ooh, I got a bunch of people to level up. Who do I, yeah, let, I need, um, let me take Baudur, because I'm probably not going to convert him to a Jedi if I can at all help it, and, uh, I'm pretty sure his constitution is high enough he can use one of the implants, and that lets me use the mask, and the droid is exempt from all that. Yeah, let me go ahead and level up my droid. So at least two of us are about as leveled up as we can get. All right, attributes. His big thing is shooting stuff, so he needs dex and intelligence, although constitution's always nice. Hit points are always nice. Um, and wisdom would help his will saves, but I don't I don't know that droids have to go through will saves that much. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's uh let's bump his dexterity up. All right, skills. Oh, let's max out that computer use and repair and security. And yeah, his awareness is so far behind mine that it's not really worth dumping the points in there. So instead, let us bump up demolitions. Okay. And accept, and let's level them up again, and let's do the same thing. Repair, security, computer use, and demolitions. Okay. And feats. Okay. I, I do want to, to add demolitions as a skill. Dual strike is always nice. Um... That's going to happen at level 13. Weapons focus would be really nice. Gearhead would also be nice. Uh, demolitions and stealth. I don't think I'm going to use them as much as demolitions. Ooh. Ooh. I definitely want the improved two-weapon fighting. Half the reason why I'm bringing them along is because I need some ranged backup. So... Uh, reduce the penalty for using two weapons, or add a plus one attack bonus. Let's reduce the penalty. And then accept, and level them up, and... Ah, oh man, I probably should have done the, uh, the bump the demolitions, because that's going to go up by two once I keep getting that going. Alright, accept, level up. Yeah, I could have really cranked that up if I had done the feat differently. Oh well. Live and learn, right? That gets him up to level 11. He's up at level 11. I am at level 13 and almost back up to my max light side points. I, I really I need to be careful because I don't... Mm, I didn't want to lose that many light side points because I have now lost the plus 3 bonus to con that it gave me. And that was kind of nice for some extra hit points. All right. So, let us head back to the docks. And I need to go... Was it the north one? Yeah, the north one is going to get me to the docks. And that will let me go to the pub. There was a reason why I wanted to get to the pub, and I've kind of forgotten what it was. It was one of these quests. Uh... All right, so I still need the lens fixture. we still got the horde to deal with, and I've got the Juma Juice. So I could try to do that and bust in there. Um, I've still got to get to... i still got to get to the, the last area I haven't been to where the refugees are. 
That might not be a bad idea either. Let's... I, I think I'm going to try to keep this one fairly short. So, uh... Let's head up to the docks and get everybody outfitted with poison resistance and see what's up in the pub. That that seems like the yeah, that seems like the best option. Which reminds me. I cannot use the bio antidote system. He cannot use the bio antidote system. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Um. Hmm. Alright, so who do I have that could probably use it? Uh. Let's remove him from the party. And let's try the handmaiden. Okay. Yeah, I know, you want to level her up, but I, I really don't just yet. Uh, she's got... She's only got a constitution of 14. Oh no, okay. Um... Mm. I really wanted to get her more levels of Jedi than soldier. Soldier and soldier's not helping. So, let's, um, all right, let's remove. And I don't think Atten's got it. Let's see if Vizis has it. All right. She's already a Jedi, so let's go ahead and get her leveled all the way up. I don't have her outfitted the way I want, but I don't expect combat yet. And, oh, her constitution's only 12? Goodness gracious! All right, uh, I'm not going to be able to get her back up to where I, or up to where I want. Um, who else has a high constitution? Does Korea? All right, remove, add. she's still there or is it because I need to be the one in charge and go remove add okay all right now I can go ahead and uh, what is her okay so there we go there we go so she's got the cardio package I can give her the bio antidote system I can get me from the survey gear to the breath mask. Okay. And I've got a droid with me. Everybody's as leveled up as they're going to get. Now let's walk into the bar of dangerousness. For some reason though, I thought I thought I could craft breath masks. Uh, let me double check and talk to that crew again because I want to say that their captain was in the bar. Uh, those are the guys I already listened in on. I'm not going to pick a fight with the Mandalorians. Crewman, crewman, crewman. One of you guys. Okay. Bah, I thought you were the captain, but all I see and smell is human. What are you? Why are you here? Um, uh, captain? Yes, our captain is sealed in sight. Self inside check check tar and we cannot retrieve him. Uh why can't you retrieve him? Alright. Oh, the poisonous toss. Okay. So wait here. Alright, I'll keep an eye out. I thought I had that one already. All right, wayward captain. Although I thought there was another way to uh, handle that one. Isn't there somebody looking for a crew? You're interrupting me. Yeah. Uh, how's you business? Must come here. Business. Oh, okay. Never mind. 
Not much I can do on that one just yet. Let's stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Go to the bar. Stick to the plan. Go to the bar. It's scotch o'clock. Everybody's got their poison stuff. You know, just you know, save the game. Just in case I miscalculated something, save the game. Never hurts. Okay. Copyright strike. Oh. Well, hello, laggy bar. Chemical dispenser. All right, let's uh. Filthy heman, this place is not for your kind. You're asking to die by coming here? Nah. You pollute this place with your presence? Fine. Seriously. Um. What's in here? Oh, okay. So these are different sections by different gases. All right, let's uh, finish this side first. Filthy human. Filthy human. I'm noticing a trend. You pollute. A trespass. Seriously, people. All right, I'll go. I'll get to the guys in the middle. Let's do the outer side first. You pollute. You pollute. All right, that's going to be a different one, right? Yep. Okay. Chemical dispenser. Uh, yep. Seriously, guys. Get a bigger repertoire. And that is out. All right, that's the outer ring. Let's run through this inner ring real quick. I got a funny feeling it'll go quick. You pollute this place, you pollute this place. I'm the one that's got to wear a poison mask. Look, if you guys want to throw down, we can. Ah, the spectrum was tinged by the heated blood of a human. What caused you to brave the air of Jek Jek Tar? Uh, I want to know about this place. Can I get something to drink? <laughs> you need to sharpen your horns. They look a little weak. I'm looking for the captain of the Lunar Shadow. Let's do that one. I do not know for sure, but you might try the weak way in the bordering room. Alright. Does uh does he have anything else to say? Not if I try to talk to him from around the bar. Uh, I wanted to know about this place. A bar for those in Arshada who miss the air of their homeworlds. This place used to be a ventilation system for passing the Nargol gases from the docks. Now it channels a variety of environments and pollutants into the vents to sustain clientele. Uh, how many of these chambers are there? Five! Oh, okay. So, right. Right, so I gotta find the arid chamber. And some more stuff with the Gand. Why does that seem familiar? I feel like I'm forgetting something with them. Tell me about the Gand. Oh, okay. Oh, aren't there some Gand uh, mercenaries that are after me? Okay. <laughs> okay. They're, they're probably the mercenaries waiting for me. I heard there are bounty hunters in search of an... <laughs> okay, best not to speak... Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't care how quick they are. Can I get something to drink? No drinks are served. Ah. Uh, if you require sustenance, take the chemical nutrients. Alright, um... Alright, let me go about my business. Whitey. Alright. Which one is the arid one? So this is the first of four. That's out. 
Let's head this away. Um, we'll do the same thing. Oh, there he is. Hey, you come to drag me back to that cursed freighter? Are you the captain of the Lunar Shadow? Yes, and that ungrateful crew is always hounding and slashing at me with their filthy words. It's my ship. I make the rules. Uh, force persuade or persuade? Now, let's do a regular persuade. Your crew will abandon you if you don't return. Fine, I've had enough of this place anyway. All right. Ooh, XP and Korea can level up. Nice. Why do you speak to the Gand? Tell me about the Gand. The Gander from Gand on the Outer Rim. Please forgive. All right. That's very confusing. That is an evil looking pike you have. All right. What about you? Why do you speak? All right. Uh, what are the odds that the third one's going to be any different? Okay. That's not helping any at all. Uh, so this is going to be a different one. I do... Gand Feinsman. Gand Gand. Okay. The Gand Feinsman has a different name, so let's see if he does something different. Why do you speak to the Gand? Alright. Never mind. I thought you would be different. Oh, no, nothing there. Oh, never mind. I'm done. There are a lot of Gand in here. I'm just saying. Alright. That's going to take me back to the infrared. Uh... What about you, good sir? Why are you here? Not many humans come in. May I ask a favor of you? Why not? Sure. What is it? I heard that a mighty Gand warrior is on Nar Shaddai. I think he is even in this very room. I was wondering if you might find out his name for me. Uh, I wonder why. Why don't you ask yourself? Okay. Okay, so he's talked to all the Gand and can't figure out which one is the mighty warrior. I'll let you know if I find out his name. Okay. Uh, what's your name? The Gand or the Gand? Tell me about the Gand. Are you a great Gand warrior? Most certainly not. All right. Oh, that's gonna. Oh, th that's gonna get. Oof. Oof. That that's gonna get very something very fast. All right. Uh, so somewhere in here is a Gand warrior. I I wonder if I should be looking for uh for a particular weapon maybe. Let's see if the dude with the evil force pike. Why do you speak to the Gand? Um, are you a great Gand warrior? Most certainly not. What's your name? Um... Why do you speak to the Gand? I don't want any trouble. Oh. Oh, God. I thought that would help. <sighs> Alright. For serious? Are you 
you a great warrior? Uh. All right, you know what? That this this one might be a uh, that might be a later quest because we're already twenty minutes in. I might have to come back to this one. And I think is this one the same or oh yep, there's more gand over here because of course there are. There, there's, there's a whole bunch of them, and several of them have some evil-looking force spikes. Isn't that a joy? That's gonna go somewhere else. This is gonna go to another uh, private lounge. The door is securely locked and magnetically sealed. It looks like it's a lounge for the bar's exclusive clientele. <laughs> Alright, um... I wonder, is it going to be one of these guys here? Why do you speak to the Gand? Uh, what's your name? The Gand of the Gand. Tell me about the Gand. Are you a great warrior? All right. Never mind. Yikes. That's that's a lot of random people to go. Oh, oh. Holy mother of glitching. All right. Let's. Before I call it quits, let's do a quick look at a couple of the other ones. We know we'll have to go through there to find. So that's one, two, three. This is four. There's what? One more? He said. That is out. That is somewhere else. And there's nowhere else up that way. Alright. One, two, three. Okay, so now I need to check this guy off to the side. And that is the private lounge. Toxin room. Okay. And what goes this way? Oh, okay. Different guys. Huh. Looks like I see a lot of thugs and chemical dispensers and people I'm going to have to do a lot of reading for. Alright, uh... Alright, let's do a quick, uh, a quick run of all the patrons. We'll start around the outside and then we'll 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 do the gand uh top of next week because yeah, i get a funny feeling it's gonna be a lot of that yep yep filthy human yada yada go away we don't like you oh uh hello hey i'm talking to you all right, stay silent then. That was bizarre. What do you want? There, here is not for your kind. Uh, maybe you need to blast your carbine to the face. No, Look, I don't want any trouble. You almost found some. Now let me enjoy the fumes. Oh, I wonder if uh. Okay. I wonder if starting a bar fight with those guys is one of the ways to get uh, the exchange to find me. Oh. Hey. Hello? Oh, seriously. How many times are we going to do the dead eye staring contest? Come on. How hard is it to walk off a platform? Okay. I almost want to pick a fight. 
I almost want to pick a fight. On the other hand, that's probably not helping. All right, that brings me back to that side of this. So let's go. Filthy human. Uh, hello. Staring contest. Fine. You're brave. <laughs> I hope you leave as quietly. Well, I mean, we'll see. Ah, uh, but enough of my warnings. Please enjoy some Juma Juice or something else before violence erupts. I heard the exchange makes this place their lair. I think you're mistaken. I do not know who you refer to, nor could I confirm it. But perhaps there's a private lounge where high-ranking members of the exchange make their lair. Uh, one cannot hope and enter such a place unless invited. All right, so this is where I'm going to go when the exchange finally comes calling for me. Uh... And perhaps I'll just wait for some of them to show. <laughs> With that attitude, you I think you will not have to wait long, even. Don't worry, we're getting there. Who else do I have? What about you? No, nope. filthy human. Filthy human. And we've already done everybody else on the outside. Alright. So we need to go find the Gand warrior over on this side for uh, the Solaston. That's that's a lot of people to talk to. And there's two rooms of these guys. Yeah, two rooms of these guys, and then the private lounge. Okay. Well, okay then. Let me go ahead and save the game. And that's enough bar hopping, so I guess we'll call this an episode. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.